Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. The next word and vision of the Lord were given to me tonight during my prayer time. The Lord himself said, I'll show you what's coming very soon. As soon as he said those words to me, I was instantly above the land, high in space in order to have a better vision of all the land. When I was taken up in the air, Planet Earth was an awesome sight to behold. I looked at this beautiful planet of our solar system that seemed to just hang on nothing, suspended in the darkness of space. Then I came back and I looked at the sun. Although I looked at it directly, I did not hurt my eyes. The Lord was with me, behind me slightly to my right. Then he spoke to me and told me that he wanted to show me a big ball of fire that will hit the world very soon. The Lord said, no one will see it coming not even the astronomers and scientists. I believe they would not see it, despite the fact that they have satellites and telescopes in space where they're looking for anything that can collide with the Earth. I heard the Lord saying, look down and see. When I looked down at the Earth, I saw it rotating slowly around the Sun. Then I began to observe the Atlantic Ocean, the Iberian Peninsula of Spain and Portugal, and the African coast. As the Earth turned, I could see the east coast of North America, Central Mexico, and South America. The next thing I saw surprised me, because the Lord focused my attention on a specific point in space that was not too far from the atmosphere of the Earth. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, there was a tear. I mean, I saw it as an opening in the fabric of space, and a bright light appeared, and then the breach closed very fast. It had opened while my eyes concentrated on the land. When I looked, it was something tremendous. I saw a giant brown rock that was also dark, falling and being propelled onto the earth at high speed. This rock had come out of the breach that had opened in space. The next minute, the giant rock appeared. And when this rock entered the earth's atmosphere, it was moving at such a speed that it began to heat up and started to burn because of the friction. I was so eager for what I was seeing while watching this in amazement without knowing if it would hit the ground or burn in the atmosphere. Right when this was happening, I could see darkness on the east coast. At that moment, the Lord spoke to me and said, This is what has been predicted since the beginning of time. I had chosen the day and the hour. My prophets have warned about it. I continued to watch the rock and it burned hotter and hotter. And finally, the rock hit the ocean. The impact looked like 100 nuclear explosions. The whole earth shook and was hit violently by the force of the impact and it was so big that the steam plume caused by the fire went very, very far into the atmosphere. While on earth, the place of the impact was like water boiling in a mass of lava. From where I was in space, outside the earth, I saw that the rock seemed to have hit the ocean somewhere around north of Puerto Rico and east of Carolina. It was very difficult to tell from a distance. I had nothing to compare to this impact, but I would estimate that it would be somewhere about 500 miles around the east coast of the United States. Then suddenly, the Lord took me down. I was back on the earth, from where I was standing. I was on the east coast, somewhere around the South Carolina area. I could feel the overheated air that was caused by the explosion. That's when I saw a wall of fire that was about 100 feet high approaching me. It was boiling and burning, sweeping everything in its trajectory. I asked the Lord how far it would go, and he told me, the rock will travel many miles. I have warned that I am a consuming fire. This is that fire. The fire was moving at great speed, and it looked almost like it was being pushed by something. It sped up and passed me really quickly, and then I heard a loud sound. I can only say it sounded like hundreds of mighty waterfalls altogether. Although I could hear this, I saw nothing at that time. As we were far, I saw a light that came from the trees and flames, poles of telephone lines, and other structures that were burning. I saw that during all this time since the impact, the earth had been shaking all the time, with very big tremors and other small shakings. But the shaking was continuous and without stopping. I don't know how long the time passed since the rock hit the earth, but I started to see the sky opening slightly, like the hours before dawn, and the noise of the waterfall was getting stronger and stronger. 
The Lord told me to turn back and observe the sea. I saw monstrous waves. I saw a huge wall of water from where I was, inland from the shore. This wall of water seemed to be hundreds of feet high. It was difficult to calculate since I was on the ground watching it moving. I seemed so small before this huge wave. In that instant, before the wave ever swept me away, the Lord came to take me again into the air. We floated over a city on the east coast. I don't know what city that was. It was somewhere along the coast. I saw the wave of the sea invading and fully covering the entire city completely. Since I was up there, I could see the fire raging and how far it had gone inland. It seemed like it had stopped somewhere around the mountains. The wave of water seemed to have submerged the whole east coast of America, and all along the coast was completely gone. I looked out to the ocean where there was the impact, and everything looked like the ocean was glowing bright orange and yellow with lava. All the islands were gone since they were totally covered in water. Much of the east coast was gone and was now underwater. Then the Lord told me, My son, this is what will happen very soon. Tell my people they should be ready and they must have their house in order. Many will be shocked when this judgment hits. The great rock will come from the throne of God to start up and to begin the end of time. This is just one of many that will hit the ground. My children think that they will be gone in the rapture before this judgment happens, but warn them so that they will wake up. The biggest harvest will come out of this judgment. When this rock hits the earth, it will be such a sign for the church and the world that many will come back to me. When revival hits the land, the blast of the trumpet will be heard, and then I will bring my children home. My children must be ready, the Lord said. Set your house in order, because this rock is hidden, but will hit. Matthew 24, 29, 30 says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Amen. Thanks for watching. And we hope that you will like this video and subscribe to get notifications whenever we post our upcoming videos in the days to come.